Hello viewers, welcome to Math Tech. I am Amit Sharma. In this video, we are going to solve questions from 1 to 7 of chapter 5 from the book Contemporary Abstract Algebra by Joseph Galen. So without a delay, let's start. Question number 1. Let alpha is the permutation in which 1 has image 2, 2 has image 1, 3 has image 3, 4 has image 5, 5 has image 4 and 6 has image 6 and beta is the permutation in which 1 has image 6, 2 has image 1, 3 has image 2, 4 has image 4, 5 has image 3 and 6 has image 5. Compute each of the following. Part A alpha inverse, part B beta alpha, part C alpha beta. The following result is very useful to learn in order to solve the question. Result. If F is a permutation in which element are A1, A2, AR means A1 has the image A2, A2 has the image A3 and so on and AR minus 1 has image AR and AR has image A1. This is known as R cycle permutation belongs to SN. Then F inverse is the permutation having element AR, AR minus 1 up to A1 means we have to just reverse this cyclic permutation. If F is equal to product of permutation F1, F2, F2, Fk where each Fi are distinct permutation then F inverse is equal to F1 inverse, F2 inverse up to Fk inverse. If F is the product of permutation F1, F2, Fk then F inverse is Fk inverse, Fk minus 1 inverse up to Fn inverse. Here the permutation are not distinct. Now since alpha is the permutation in which 1 has image 2, 2 has image 1, 3 has image 3, 4 has image 5, 5 has image 4 and 6 has image 6 which is further written as in cyclic notation as 1, 2, 4, 5, pi it is so because 1 has image 2 and 2 has image 1 means 1 cycle is complete 1, 2. 3 has image 3 means it is an identity permutation. It is not required to write identity permutation because product of identity permutation with the permutation is the permutation itself. Here 4 has image 5 and 5 has image 4 means 1 cycle is complete. This is written as 4, 5. Again 6 has image 6. It is again identity permutation. This implies alpha can be written as product of cyclic permutation 1, 2, 4, 5. Now alpha inverse is the inverse of the permutation 1, 2, 4, 5 which is further written as 1, 2 inverse, 4, 5 inverse. Why it is so? Because both are distinct permutation which is further written as 2, 1 and 5, 4. 2, 1 is the inverse of 1, 2, 5, 4 is the inverse of 4, 5. Since it is a 2 cycle permutation means its order is 2 which is further written as 1, 2, 4, 5. Therefore alpha inverse is equal to alpha. Part B since beta is the permutation in which 1 has image 6. 2 has image 1, 3 has image 2, 4 has image 4, 5 has image 3 and 6 has image 5. Now beta alpha is the product of permutation beta with the alpha. For the product we move from right to left. The product of these two permutation is the permutation. Why it is so? Here 1 has image 2 and 2 has image 1. This implies 1 has image 1. Here 2 has image 1 and 1 has image 6. This implies 2 has image 6. Here 3 has image 3 and 3 has image 2 this implies 3 has image 2. 4 has image 5, 5 has image 3 this implies 4 has image 3. 5 has image 4 and 4 has image 4 this implies 5 has image 4. 6 has image 6, here 6 has image 5 this implies 6 has image 5. This is the product of permutation beta alpha. Now product of alpha beta is the product of permutation alpha with the beta and product of these two permutation is this permutation why it is so. Here 1 has image 6 and 6 has image 6 this implies 1 has image 6. 2 has image 1 and 1 has image 2 this implies 2 has image 2. 3 has image 2 and 2 has image 1 this implies 3 has image 1. 4 has image 4 here 4 has image 5 this implies 4 has image 5. 5 has image 3 and 3 has image 3 this implies 5 has image 3. 6 has image 5 and 5 has image 4 this implies 6 has image 4. Now question number 2. That alpha is the permutation in which 1 has image 2, 2 has image 3, 3 has image 4, 4 has image 5, 5 has image 1, 6 has image 7, 7 has image 8 and 8 has image 6. And beta is the permutation in which 1 has image 1, 2 has image 3, 3 has image 8, 4 has image 7, 5 has image 6, 6 has image 5, 7 has image 2 and 8 has image 4. Write alpha beta and alpha beta as part A product of disjoint cycle, part B product of two cycles. The following results are very useful to learn in order to solve the question. Result number 1. Every permutation in SN can be written as product of transposition that is product of two cycle permutation. Result number 2. 
two permutation are disjoint if they do not have any common element since alpha is the permutation in which one has image 2 two has image 3 three has image 4 four has image 5 and five has image 1 6 has image 7, 7 has image 8 and 8 has image 6 which is further written as in cyclic notation as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, 7, 8. Why it is so? Because 1 has image 2, 2 has image 3, 3 has image 4, 4 has image 5 and 5 has image 1. This implies 1 cycle is complete, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In the same way 6 has image 7, 7 has image 8 and 8 has image 6. This is the second cyclic notation 6, 7, 8. Both are disjoint because no element is common which is further written as 1, 5, 1, 4, 1, 3, 1, 2, 6, 8, 6, 7. This is the product of two cycle permutation. For this, you have to write first element with the last element, first element with the second last element, first element with the third last element and so on. And in this way, we can write product of two cycle permutation. And beta is the permutation in which one has image 1, 2 has image 3, 3 has image 8, 4 has image 7, 5 has image 6, 6 has image 5, 7 has image 2 and 8 has image 4 which is further written as in this disjoint cycle 2, 3, 8, 4, 7 and 5, 6. Why it is so? Because 1 has image 1, this is an identity permutation, no need to write. 2 has image 3, 3 has image 8, 8 has image 4, 4 has image 7 and 7 has image 2 means 1 cycle is complete 2, 3, 4, 8, 7 and 5 has image 6 and 6 has image 5, cycle is complete, this is known as 5, 6. Now it is further written as 2, 7, 2, 4, 2, 8, 2, 3, 5, 6. This is the product of two cycle permutation. Now, product of alpha beta is the product of permutation alpha with the beta. The product of these two permutation is this permutation. Why it is so? Because one has image 1. Here one has image 2. This implies one has image 2. 2 has image 3. Here 3 has image 4. This implies 2 has image 4. 3 has image 8 and 8 has image 6. This implies 3 has image 6. 4 has image 7, 7 has image 8, this implies 4 has image 8, 5 has image 6, 6 has image 7, this implies 5 has image 7, 6 has image 5, 5 has image 1, this implies 6 has image 1, 7 has image 2 and 2 has image 3, this implies 7 has image 3, 8 has image 4 and 4 has image 5, this implies 8 has image 5, which is further written as the disjoint cycle 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 5, 7, 3, 6, which is further written as 1, 6, 1, 3, 1, 7, 1, 5, 1, 8, 1, 4, 1, 2. This is the product of two cycle permutation. Question number 3. Write each of the following permutation as product of disjoint cycle. Part A, 1, 2, 3, 5, 4, 1, 3. Part B, 1, 3, 2, 5, 6, 2, 3, 4, 6, 5, 1, 2. Part C, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 4, 2. Now, product of the permutation 1, 2, 3, 5 with 4, 1, 3 is further written as in this form. Now, product of these two permutation, like in the question number 2, we get this permutation, which is further written as 1, 5, 2, 3, 4. This is the disjoint cycle. Part B, the product of permutation 1, 3, 2, 5, 6 with 2, 3, 4, 6, 5, 1, 2, which is further written as this. Now, product of these two permutation, we get this permutation. Why it is so? Here, 1 has image 2, 2 has image 3, and 3 has image 2. This implies 1 has image 2. Now 2 has image 4, here 4 has image 4 and 4 has image 4, this implies 2 has image 4. Here 3 has image 3, 3 has image 2 and 2 has image 5, this implies 3 has image 5. Here 4 has image 6, 6 has image 6, here 6 has image 1, this implies 4 has image 1. 5 has image 1, 1 has image 1 and 1 has image 3, this implies 5 has image 3. Here 6 has image 5. Here 5 has image 5 and 5 has image 6. This implies 6 has image 6, which is further written as in cyclic notation as 1, 2, 4 and 3, 5. These are the disjoint cycle. Part C. Now product of permutation 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 4, 2, which is further written as in this part. Now product this permutation like in part B, we get this permutation, which is further written as the disjoint cycle 1, 4, 2, 3. Why it is so? Because 1 has image 4. 4 has image 2, 2 has image 3 and 3 has image 2. Question number 4. Find the order of each of the following permutation. Part A, 1, 4. Part B, 1, 4, 7. Part C, 1, 4, 7, 6, 2. Part D, A1, A2 up to AK. In order to solve the question, it is essential to learn the following result. Result. If F is the R cycle permutation belongs to SN, then order of F is R. 
if f is the product of permutation f1 f2 fr belongs to sn where each fir disjoint permutation then order of f is lcm of order of f1 order of f2 up to order of f of r part a order of the permutation 1 4 is 2 because it is a two cycle permutation part b order of permutation 1 4 7 is 3 because it is a three cycle permutation part c the order of permutation 1 4 7 6 2 is 5 because it is a five cycle permutation Part D, the order of permutation A1, A2 up to AK is K because it is a K cycle permutation. Question number 5. What is the order of each of the following permutations? Part A, product of permutation 1, 2, 4, 3, 5, 7. Part B, product of permutation 1, 2, 4, 3, 5, 6, 7. Part C, product of permutation 1, 2, 4, 3, 5. Part D, product of permutation 1, 2, 4, 3, 5, 7, 8, 6, 9. Part E, product of permutation 1, 2, 3, 5 and 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. Part F, product of permutation 3, 4, 5 and 2, 4, 5. Part A, order of product of permutation 1, 2, 4, 3, 5, 7. This is equal to LCM of order of permutation 1, 2, 4 and order of permutation 3, 5, 7 because both are disjoint permutation, which is equal to LCM of 3, 3 because it is a 3 cycle permutation, it is a 3 cycle permutation and LCM is 3. This implies order of this permutation is 3. Part B, Order of permutation 1, 2, 4 with 3, 5, 6, 7 is equal to LCM of order of permutation 1, 2, 4 and order of permutation 3, 5, 6, 7 because both are disjoint permutation which is equal to LCM of 3, 4 because it is a 3 cycle permutation and it is a 4 cycle permutation and LCM of 3, 4 is 12. This implies order of this permutation is 12. Part C. Order of permutation 1, 2, 4 with 3, 5. This is equal to LCM of order of permutation 1, 2, 4 and order of permutation 3, 5 because both are disjoint permutation which is equal to LCM of 3, 2 because it is a 3 cycle permutation and it is a 2 cycle permutation and LCM of 3, 2 is 6. This implies order of this permutation is 6. Part D, the order of product of permutation 1, 2, 4 with 3, 5, 7, 8, 6, 9. This is equal to LCM of order of permutation 1, 2, 4 and order of permutation 3, 5, 7, 8, 6, 9 because both are disjoint permutation which is equal to LCM of 3, 6 because it is a 3 cycle permutation and it is a 6 cycle permutation and LCM of 3, 6 is 3 this implies order of this permutation is 3 Part E order of product of permutation 1, 2, 3, 5 with 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 this is not a disjoint permutation because it has common element first we have to multiply this permutation with this permutation we get the order of permutation 1, 2, 4 and 3, 5, 6, 7 this implies order of this permutation is equal to order of this permutation. Now this is the disjoint permutation which is equal to LCM of order of permutation 1 to 4 with order of permutation 3, 5, 6, 7. This is a 3 cycle permutation. This is a 4 cycle permutation which is equal to LCM of 3, 4 which is equal to 12. This implies order of this permutation is 12. Part F. Order of product of permutation 3, 4, 5 and 2, 4, 5. Again it is not a disjoint permutation. We have to multiply these two permutations and we get the order of product of permutation 2, 5 and 3, 5 which is equal to LCM of order of permutation 2, 5 with order of permutation 3, 5 which is equal to LCM of 2, comma 2 because both are 2 cycle permutation. This is equal to 2. This implies order of this permutation is 2. Question number 6. What is the order of each of the following permutation? Part A. A permutation in which 1 has image 2, 2 has image 1, 3 has image 5, 4 has image 4, 5 has image 6, 6 has image 3. Part B. 1 has image 7, 2 has image 6, 3 has image 1, 4 has image 2, 5 has image 3, 6 has image 4 and 7 has image 5. Part A. Let alpha is the permutation in which 1 has image 2, 2 has image 1, 3 has image 5, 4 has image 4, 5 has image 6 and 6 has image 3 which is further represented as product of disjoint permutation 1, 2 and 3, 5, 6. Why it is so? Because 1 has image 2, 2 has image 1, 1 cycle is complete, 1, 2. 3 has image 5, 5 has image 6, 6 has image 3, second cycle is complete, 3, 5, 6 and 4 has image 4, it is an identity permutation, it is not required to write identity permutation. Now the product of alpha is equal to product of the permutation 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, both are disjoint permutation. This is equal to LCM of order of permutation 1, 2 and order of permutation 3, 5, 6 which is equal to LCM of 2, 3 because 1, 2 is a 2 cycle permutation and it is a 3 cycle permutation. And LCM of this is 6. This implies order of alpha is 6. Part B. That beta is the permutation in which 1 has image 7, 2 has image 6, 3 has image 1, 4 has image 2, 5 has image 3, 6 has image 4 and 7 has image 5. 
which is further written as product of disjoint permutation 1753 and 246. Now order of beta is equal to order of product of permutation 1753 and 246 which is equal to LCM of order of permutation 1753 and order of permutation 264 which is equal to LCM of 4,3 which is equal to 12. This implies order of beta is 12. Question number 7. What is the order of product of pair of disjoint cycle of length 4 and 6? The order of product of a pair of disjoint cycle of length 4 and 6 is equal to LCM of 4,6 which is equal to 12. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like the content, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. If you have any query, comment me. Thank you very much.